Hey guys, thank you guys so much for giving me comments on my previous video. I didn't get as many as I thought I would have, but hey, it's a um experiment, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, um, let's get the show on the road. This first question goes to Sonic Phantom. It says, hey, congratulations on the um, voice reveal. Can't wait to see more of the Discovery type video content on the channel. And for his question, it's what type of software do you use to make your art? Since I'm a 3D artist, I use Miko Miko Dance. Thank you for the question. Um, since I use a phone for my art, I use Ibis Paint X and Procreate. I mostly do Procreate because it's more advanced, and I use IBS Paint in case I need it for emergencies. And I sometimes use um, IBS Paint for like many animations. I do use Procreate for animations, but it's sometimes hard because the, it doesn't like give you filters each slide. Instead, the filters are the slide instead of like you know just the slide. So I just group my items so it can help me animate better but it's really hard to keep track of it when you group your items so yeah it's really hard so that's why i mostly like to use ibis paint x for animating because it has filters when i mean layers where you um animate your stuff so yeah i wish i had a bigger screen so i can like you know do more animations and animatics but um since I'm broke, I'm stuck with my small phone, so, yeah. But thank you for the question! This next question comes from one of my favorite Sonic VAs, um, Koiosis. If you guys don't know about him, he does a Sonic audio series called the Super Sonic Squad, and it's really good, and I recommend you checking it out. And also, he does a really good impression of Boom Knuckles, which is one of my favorite Sonic Boom characters of all time. And it's definitely not because he's one of my fictional crushes. Please don't attack me. His question is, what inspired you to become a cartoonist? This question is probably going to be a long one, but I'll answer it anyway. So before COVID happened, I used to watch a lot of cartoons. And not only that, I used to like read a lot of comics and graphic novels. One of those cartoons I watch happens to be Rocko's Modern Life. And because of the reboot, it really got me into the Gum franchise a lot because it's so cartoony and expressive and the wild takes are so hilarious and it also made me have a crush on Rocco also. Like I said, please don't attack me. I have feelings too. Not only I love the show, I also love the creator, um, Joe Murray, which was one of the inspirations of me becoming a cartoonist because I used to watch the behind the scenes on his artwork and he does a really great job on it and he does a really good job on drawing the cartoon characters like Rocco, Heffer, and Filbert. And I really enjoyed it and I watched the graphic novel versions of Rocco's Modern Life and it was really cool and it really inspired me to make like a cartoon of my own but the only problem is back at that time I only can draw stick figures so yeah I was a really good drawer back then after COVID happened I was still determined to become a cartoonist so I got every book and I even took art classes to like you know learn how to draw better because I don't want to be a cartoonist just for comics I want to be a cartoonist just for storyboarding and animating and I want to do more animations and I want to like you know find a perfect college for that but until then I'll just be doing animations for my favorite franchise is and you know probably earn money to buy an iPad to make bigger animations for my channel and other my platforms and possibly make a portfolio for my college yeah so thank you for the question Coleus the next one is from Toon Media Gas and it says hi Toonmedia I love your videos and your art style this one gives me three questions to answer, so I'm going to answer it one by one. The first one is, what got you into Sonic the Hedgehog and SNG4? I'm going to start with Sonic. If I'm going to be honest, it's basically the movies that got me in the franchise. Because, hear me out when I say this, but I'm going to say that I like the Sonic movies better than the Sonic games. 
and let me explain. I'm gonna say this ahead, Sonic the Hedgehog is freaking cute in this movies because he's so adorable and I know for a fact that he is. And also, probably one of the most powerful Sonics of all time. Well, besides RC Sonic, I'll let that pass. And I'll probably explain that in a future video if I'm, you know, have the energy to. The second reason I love the movies because I'm a big fan of the found family trope and this, these two movies are what really, you know, stuck to me the most about it. And also the soundtrack in major character development in lots of the characters, mostly Sonic. So. Yeah, that's why I love the movies better than the games. But overall, I love Sonic the Hedgehog regardless. And I'm really excited for Sonic Movie 3 and Sonic X Shadow Generations. Mostly because I'm kind of a shipper of Sonic X Shadow. But I do ship Shinami too, but still. As for SMG4, I think it's because I'm in the Mario franchise. So when I was in Mario looking for videos, I came across Mario gets his pingus stuck in the door and I watched it and it was actually pretty good. The first SMG4 movie I ever watched was It's Gonna Be Perfect and that movie really got me into SMG4 a lot and I really would like to see what's in store more for more arcs and more movies. I would love to see it and I love to see more of the characters interact and more lore into the show so yeah. And also, I really adore SMG4 and SMG3 relationship in it, and I totally ship it, so yeah, just want to let you guys know. Their next question is, what fictional character do you recently relate to? Well, for me, it's Movie Sonic and SMG4, the character, to be Pacific. For Movie Sonic, it's because I can sometimes be immature and childish, but can be mature when I need to. And also, before I met my best friends, I was also lonely because I would do a lot of weird things in middle school and high school, such as like, you know, stimming, such as like running around the hallways or heading my head back and forth because I usually do that a lot, which makes people think I'm weird, which was the reason I didn't have friends at that time. But now, after explaining my friends about what I do and, and you know, they accept me for who I am. And, yeah, that's why I love them both so much. If you guys are hearing this, I want to say I love you. Now, as for SMG4, besides the fact that I love memes, it's also because I have major anxiety mostly like if i have too much anxiety i would have like a i would cry and have a major breakdown and and yeah it, it would just do that because smg4 would do that sometimes in the episodes such as we don't talk about the elevator in gamecube and after seeing those scenes it really did make me re like seeing i'm not the only one who handles anxiety and stuff like that and yeah also, it's because I'm silly and sensitive and sometimes having a temper when being pushed too hard. So that's why I can SMG4 in Sonic. Even though it's pretty weird for me to can blue characters even though my favorite color is red. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Their last question is, this is a very weird question, but do you like fart jokes? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm completely fine with fart jokes. In fact, I love it. In fact, whenever I rewatch the first Sonic movie and wherever Sonic cut the cheese, I would literally giggle and burst into laughter. And in the second movie, when Sonic made that dummy, it just made me burst into tears whenever I laughed. And the, the thing that made me laugh the most was when Sonic said, oh, I knew I should have used real farts. <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it, it really makes me laugh a lot. Now before I move on to the next question, I just want to say two things. One, fart jokes and fart fetishes are not the same thing. Fart jokes is when someone farts and you laugh at it. Fart fetishes and when someone farts you... Well... Oh, harder daddy. Second, I do have my limits when it comes to fart jokes. My limit is one, when someone farts in people's faces, and two, when someone 
who like overuse fart jokes in show or movie. That's when I cross the line. So yeah, wanna get that off my chest? And thank you so much for the questions to Media Gas. The last question goes to Hey, I'm a Fangirl. And if you guys don't know, please check out her channel blog because she makes the best human gender bends ever. And her main cuphead EU is Welcome Back to the Casino. And I recommend you checking it out because it's really good. She says, not a question, but I love your art style and it's so cute. Now my question, lol, what got you into art and drawing? Well, like I said before in the cartoonist question, I watch a lot of cartoons and read a lot of comic books and it really inspired me to become a cartoonist to create my own stuff. And when I first started to draw, it was horrible. It's mostly because I was in my cringy era that time where I was into My Little Pony and Rock Was My Life and I wanted to make like an AU of that and let's just say my drawings were terrible. And over the years, I was looking through some, like, art styles and stuff, and I was like, you know what? What if I make my own drawings, and what if I make my own art style? So, I go to Pinterest, I look up every tips for, um, drawing, and, yeah, that's how I, like, you know, try to draw better, make it, like, cartoony, half, kind of realistic in my way. And I really was impressed of how I improved in my drawings a lot but i still need more practice on my drawings mostly on positions shading hair animatics and expressions and learning how to sit my characters down because that's pretty hard to my book so yeah thanks for the question fg well, that's all the questions I answered. Like I said before, I didn't get as much questions I had as I expected. But hey, this is an experiment and I'm glad I got questions. Thank you for participating in the Q&A. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want more of me to discuss about in future videos. And what do you guys want more in my channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a fun day. Okay, bye!